Good evening, my friends. Eat That Frog, Chapter 18. Slice and dice the task. The beginning of a habit is like an invisible thread, but every time we repeat the act, we strengthen the strand, add to it another filament until it becomes a great cable and binds us irrevocably in thought and act. Orson Sweat Marden. A major reason for procrastinating on big important tasks is that they appear so large and formidable when you first approach them. One technique that you can use to cut a big task down to size is the salami slice method of getting work done. With this method, you lay out the task in detail, writing down every step in order, and then resolve to do just one slice of the job for the time being, like eating a roll of salami, one slice at a time, or like eating an elephant, one bite at a time. Psychologically, you will find it easier to do a single, small piece of a large project than to start on the whole job. Often, once you've started and completed a single part of the job, you'll feel like doing just one more slice. Soon you'll find yourself working through the job one part at a time, and before you know it, the job will be completed. Develop a compulsion to closure. An important point to remember is that you have deep within you an urge to completion, or what is often referred to as a compulsion to closure. This means that you actually feel happier and more powerful when you start and complete a task of any kind. You satisfy a deep and subconscious need to bring finality to a job or project. This sense of completion or closure motivates you to start the next task or project and then to persist towards final completion. This act of completion triggers the release of endorphins in your brain mentioned earlier. And the bigger the task you start and complete, the better and more elated you feel. The bigger the frog you eat, the greater the surge of personal power and energy you experience. When you start and finish a small piece of a task, you feel motivated to start and finish another part, then another, and so on. Each small step forward energizes you. You soon develop an inner drive that motivates you to carry through to completion. Swiss cheese your tasks. Another technique you can use is called the Swiss cheese method of working. You use this technique to get yourself into gear by resolving to punch a hole in the task, like a hole in a block of Swiss cheese. You Swiss cheese a task when you resolve to work for a specific time period on it. This may be as little as five or 10 minutes after which you will stop and do something else. You will just take one bite of your frog and then rest or do something else. The power of this method is similar to that of the salami slice method. Once you start working, you develop a sense of forward momentum and a feeling of accomplishment. You become energized and enthusiastic. You feel yourself internally motivated and propelled to keep going until the task is complete. You should try the salami slice or the Swiss cheese method on any task that seems overwhelming when you approach it for the first time. You'll be amazed at how helpful each technique is in overcoming procrastination. I have several friends who have become best-selling authors by simply resolving to write one page or even one paragraph per day until the book was completed. And you can do the same. Eat that frog. One, put the salami slice or Swiss cheese technique into action immediately to get started on a large, complex, multitask job that you've been putting off. Two, become action-oriented. A common quality of high performers is that when they hear a good idea, they take action on it immediately. Don't delay. Try it today. And that, my friends, is the end of Chapter 18. Have a good evening.